Today we got Sterling Hinton, VFL, yeah, VFL yeah. Marlon Wallace. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. I know it was a fun night for you. Yeah, well, you were fun. busy, but hey. a fun night watching the Vols it. put it on like they did. That's but, it. Uh, it's the Stole Train, which means I let Mike Stole have his say, have his question. Uh, I told you, don't be negative, but here we go. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what are you gonna do, Mike? So it's it's tough to you know be negative on this, but think about it. Tennessee scored 120 points in the two games. Defensively, they've not given up a touchdown yet. So they look really, really good. My question to the VFLs, what's the weakest, what, what's the weakest link uh, or unit on this team? Well, if we went to recent biases and just looked at last night, you would say the wide receiver core because they didn't show up and, they, you know, everywhere else did show up. But I, I still think if I look at it, I still go, I don't trust the secondary at this point. I just look at it and go, if – they have more time, what happens in. So I think it's a prove me kind of thing. I'm not saying I don't think they may have gotten better, but I want to see, you know, one-on-one, man, man coverage. Right. You get a wide receiver, he catches the ball. Does that guy get the guy on the ground, or are they able to make plays? So I, I'm still in a wait and see. I still think the secondary is your potential of where you're looking. But I have to say, last night was not a good showing for the wide receivers. So when it came to big-time competition – you didn't have anybody that broke out and made any big plays. You didn't take many deep shots. Only a couple, mm -hmm. one to McCoy, one to White. Uh, you had the overthrow on the interception. But you didn't take a lot there. I think uh, Thornton was only targeted once or twice yeah. the whole game. Yeah. But 23 passes, there weren't a lot of big plays for the receivers. All right, there we go. What was the weakest? What is the weakest link on this team, period? Not just last night, but period. Uh, if you have to pick one. And it's nitpicking. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. Uh, I would still say I don't. I'm with Will on this. I still don't trust the DBs. I think when you go against um, a group where you've got multiple guys, so you're looking down the line. And, again, we're still nitpicking, but, like, you're looking down the line where you've got two receivers that's like a concession that can get you beat. Um, the other thing is, like, uh, wide receiver-wise, I know that they, they, they said in the telecast they pushed their safeties all the way back to make yeah. sure they take away the deep shots. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was the case that kind of uh, – the reason why we didn't see that production that we saw last week mm -hmm. from Thornton uh, if that was the case this week. But I would still say the DBs. All right. Where are you going, Sterling? Weakest thing, I got two that's tied. Okay. First one, it's me. It's my fault, man. I only predict we're going to win 42 to 10. Right. <laughs> I said 42, you, you but underestimated it. I underestimated it. <laughs> but I, I, the weakest link, I think, is our strongest link. And that's what I mean by that. I think our strongest person hasn't showed what we know he can do yet. And that's Dr. James Pierce. I think Pierce is that they're sliding. So I see him get triple teamed five times last night in the game. They slid the line to him and chipped the back on him. But when he breaks out, when people realize the, the, the legitimacy of his other teammates in that front line, and they start having a one-on-one -on -one and play more than other people, and they one-on-one -on -one him, be ready. Strongest link showing up. Okay, uh, Josh, if you could tweet for us. <laughs> Sterling Hinton says... James Pierce is Tennessee's weakest link. There we go. <laughs> All right, Mike, I know where you're going. This yeah, question so was asked for one reason. So, so absolutely, yeah. So it's the offensive line. I still have a lot of questions. <laughs> but, sir, don't listen to it. Listen. All right, so, like, I have a trained eye of understanding of good sets, bad sets, and everything. They are a little bit slow. James or uh, 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 Samson had a lot of yards after contact. He wasn't, like, had gaping holes to gash through. Uh, it was a different bit of a scheme, but the interception Nico threw, uh, Spragan, well, that, that, yeah. was, that, was, that was a horrible set. And then you've got your tackles. I'm not confident with the way they're setting. They're, they're not setting well, and you see Nico kind of having to step up and throw. So when you're facing elite defensive ends, I question that. So I think that is I'm, they're, they're still a pretty good unit, but I think they're their weakest unit. I thought they got better last night in the past game. I thought they got better as it went on. I did not like the way it started. Yeah. That first drive, Nico was having to run. Uh, he was taking a few too many hits. That is not what you want to see because he is still not a big guy. Yeah. I, uh, but yeah. I thought they improved. They, they did improve. But they, I don't have a trained eye for the sets. For the so. sets. the way Just the <laughs> foot and the way the feet set and the, and the short sets and everything. There's short corners that are there. Look out for that in big games. Look for somebody getting around the corner quick. Just – what do I know? There you go. No, that's why we. That's why it's the stole train. That's All right. right. <laughs> when we come back, true or false, the defense is more likely to carry this team to the playoff than the offense. Wow. Let's let's tackle that hot take next on the Sports Source. Okay.